Thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Caesar, and I'm here with Mark, the owner of San Diego Laser Tattoo Removal. And make sure you watch this video to the end because Mark is going to tell you how you could win a free session of laser tattoo removal. Introduce yourself, Mark, please. My name is Mark Bennett. I own uh, San Diego Laser Removal here in San Diego, obviously. We've been doing this for 10 years, and uh, Caesar's been our client for how long now? A couple years now, maybe three years, years now. I three think. years, that's about typical. We see a lot of clients, especially with tattoos as big as yours, for that long time period. So this video is gonna be about the most commonly asked questions because uh, I know the videos that I've been putting out, I have a bunch of questions and I kind of compiled them up and we're gonna ask Mark and he's gonna answer the best he can for us. And so let's get started with number one. Question number one, does laser tattoo removal hurt? Yes, tattoo removal hurts. One of the main things to realize about tattoo removal is everybody's pain tolerance is different. So the way that it would hurt one person may be different for another. Obviously, a bigger tattoo that may take longer in treatment may hurt more than if somebody has a little name or something like that. But in general, it's explained as uh, hot grease on your skin or a snapping rubber band, something like that. Would you you'd say that's I would agree. Right? I would agree yeah. with that, yes. Um, the good thing about tattoo removal treatments is they're much faster than getting a tattoo. So let's just say this name on my hand maybe took, you know, 20 minutes to do the tattoo. It's going to take like maybe one minute to do the tattoo removal treatment. So the pain is relative. It's very short. I think if you got the tattoo and you made it through it, you'll be fine to remove it as well. I completely agree with Mark. Like, let's say the one on my back, it took three hours to get the tattoo. And a laser tattoo removal treatment could take somewhere around a minute or so maybe the longest two minutes, and you just gotta push through it. Like you said, if you could get the tattoo on there, you could definitely get it removed. Do not be scared of the pain. There's nothing scarier, actually, than a having a tattoo you hate for the rest of your life. I think that's scarier than actually going through the pain of getting the tattoo removed. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Next question, is there a way to make the pain more bearable? Well, just like you explained in your other video, there is definitely ways to make it more bearable. Um, icing it before you come in, applying lidocaine cream. Um, you can purchase it over the counter. We also have it here for purchase. Um, if you come in early enough, we'll supply that lidocaine cream for free. Um, stress balls. Uh, there's a lot of ways to make it less painful. But like I said, it's so fast that, you know, everyone makes it through. So I wouldn't be so concerned about the pain. Um, and there definitely are other ways for you to, to, you know, manage that pain so that you're not stressing on it. But, but you'll be fine, just like you've been with all your treatments. <laughs> How much does tattoo laser removal cost? That's a tricky question because everybody wants to know that. And the problem with that is everybody's results vary. Some tattoos remove very quickly, some tattoos are very stubborn. If you're paying per treatment and you have a stubborn tattoo, the cost will be higher than as if you have a tattoo that comes out right away, maybe something that wasn't professionally done, maybe someone got it in a garage or by their friend. And uh, those tattoos you know, tend to come out a bit quicker, so the cost will be lower. Um, but in general, um, tattoo removal is based on the size of the tattoo and the number of treatments. Um, the way we do it here is you can purchase by treatment and just pay each time you come in, or you can purchase a package which is comes with a guarantee. So we tell you one flat rate price, and then we'll treat it as many times as it needs to be treated. Our goal is to remove tattoos, everybody's tattoos, in 10 treatments or less. Um, with that said, we have tattoos that take four or five treatments, which is not common, and they're gone. And we also have tattoos that take 25 treatments and they're not gone. Uh, so everybody's different and the reason why is because everyone's immune system is different and that is what is actually removing the tattoo. The laser is just breaking up the pigment, your body's immune system is absorbing it and eliminating it. So people with really strong immune systems, they get great results, they need less treatments, hence it ends up costing less as well. So that's about pricing in general. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I do know that uh, you did offer me the package deal and I really appreciate that. Like, I think that is the way to go to get the, the package deal. That way you're paying one price 
up front. I really like that you offer that. Yeah, I think it definitely benefits people in the long run because then they, they just know how much it is. They don't have to think about, oh man, I'm, I'm ha I've already paid for five treatments. It's being stubborn. It's going to end up, if it's a 20 treatment one, then you know how much am I going to be paying in the, in the end? So we do it like that, flat price. And uh, if we remove your tattoo in less than 10 treatments, we actually will give you a refund on any money that you may have you know, paid up front. Okay, so nice. that way it's beneficial to, to everyone. Our goal is to remove it as quickly and safely as possible and to give it to you at a fair price. And we've been doing this long enough to know that a, a, a 10 treatment average is a great kind of sweet spot for the ones that end up taking less and the ones that end up taking more. Okay, and that actually um, goes into my next question on how, how long does it take to get a tattoo removed? And you already said it takes 10 sessions. Um, how long do you have to wait in between sessions for the laser removal? Process? So again, a tricky question because everyone's immune system is different. You know, people who tend to be very healthy, they're exercising a lot, drinking lots of water, sweating a lot, those things are really good for tattoo removal. Um, so people who maybe don't do that, they like to watch Game of Thrones marathons or whatever, they may have a little bit harder time uh, with their tattoo removal coming out as fast. So uh, the amount of time is very hard to determine just because there's so many factors involved. Um, I think on average, 10 treatments is about correct and honestly the more time in between treatments is actually better than more treatments so you'll get better results if you wait say two months in between treatments or eight weeks as opposed to if you come every six weeks you're the, the time frame will end up being a little longer if you're coming every eight weeks, but you'll end up needing less treatments in the end. So if you are one of those people who you're sensitive as far as the pain goes, you may want to just spread those treatments out, have less treatments, get the same results. So it's kind of up to the person. It's really based on, you know, it's a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing. Okay. And I have noticed when I, I space out my treatments that the tattoos start disappearing more and more and more. So I do like when I wait three months rather than the six weeks because I could, I could notice the difference. When I do it six weeks, you can still tell that it's getting faded, but um, more, more so when it's three months. Yeah, and I think the challenge is, is you know, when people come to get tattoo removal, they've already decided I don't want the tattoo anymore. And I, it took me one hour to get it and now it's gonna take me two years to remove it. Yeah. And so they don't, they, they tend to not be so patient and wanting to wait the long amounts of time in between the treatments, especially in the beginning because they've already decided they want it gone. A lot of people don't understand that it's a process. They think it'll be gone in one day. Uh, and, but what we do find is over, as they begin in their treatment time, they don't mind to, to push it out because then they start re realizing like, oh, I'm getting better results when I'm waiting longer periods of time, just like you've noticed with okay. your tattoo. So um, yeah, longer time frames is better than more cheap treatments. Gotcha. The next question is, does the tattoo completely remove? Because I do get this one a lot. And people also ask, does it leave any scarring? So could you? Uh, sure, sure. Let us know more. Um, it's this. It's the same thing. Uh, it kind of depends on what is your outcome. Uh, if you're planning on getting a cover up, you actually don't need to remove it completely in most cases. So a lot of times we will be doing just a few treatments uh, to lighten it up for cover up. If somebody does want to remove the tattoo completely, yes, it's possible in. 98% of the cases it is possible uh, and in 98% of the time we find that that's that's happening um, the 2% is uh, someone may have something called hyper or hypopigmentation where the color of their skin will change uh, a little bit from the laser generally what happens is over time maybe a year or two or three years the skin does go back to looking normal uh, I don't think we've seen a case in 10 years that the skin didn't go back to normal. Mm -hmm. uh, the one challenge with a case like that is you, you don't see them ever again. So you don't know <laughs> what, how, how has it turned out for them. Um, I'm assuming if they haven't called us back that it's most likely fine. Yeah. So um, we try to schedule follow-up um, you know, meetings and sessions with them or at least just to come in for us to take a, a last picture 
but um, people are busy. They just they don't do that. Um, and it's so rare that we get that last final picture where it's just completely normal looking. Um, when we do, we love it. We post it to our to our websites and, and social media and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that's generally the case. And then as far as scarring goes, is the scar if you ever see scarring from tattoo removal, it's generally it's because when they got the tattoo, the tattoo artist may have gone a little too deep with the tattoo machine. Uh, and scarred their skin that way. The laser then removes the pigment, but doesn't remove the scar. So then generally there's there can be a raised area. But the way to tell is if you're, before you even start tattoo removal treatment, if you rub your hand over the area and you feel it's raised, you can pretty much count on by the time your tattoo is gone, the raised parts of it will still be there. Okay. So, um, but usually it's not the whole tattoo. It may just be a little bit of a piece of the tattoo where he kind of dug or she dug a little bit deeper on the tattoo, scarred it a little bit, and, and you end up with that. But um, again, people are just so excited to not have the tattoo anymore that having the little piece of uh, scar there that was left over, um, they usually are just don't even mind it. So. Next question that I get a lot is how is the healing process in it? Could you explain a little more how it sure, works? Sure. If you get any blisters, is that sure, normal? Sure, sure. Uh, blistering is normal. Uh, it doesn't happen every time as I sh I'm sure you've experienced. You probably have had times where it's blistered. You've had times where it doesn't. It kind of depends on what's the energy level at the moment, which laser wavelength we're using. Um, specifically color tattoos tend to blister a bit more than black tattoos. That doesn't mean that black tattoos won't blister, it just means it's less likely. It is normal that that happens, so there's nothing to be aware of. Um, taking care of a, of a freshly lasered tattoo is very similar to taking care of a, of a tattoo when you first get it, just keeping it clean, keeping it wrapped for a few days, um, applying lotion or Aquaphor, um, something non-scented, you know, keeping the skin moist so it doesn't dry out. And um, yeah, I mean, the healing can be also similar to taking care of a sudden burn. So using aloe vera and things like that are really good for it as well. But in general, if you have an experienced, um, you know, nurse practitioner or nurse here, registered nurse here in the state of California, then, um, and they've been doing it a while, you shouldn't have too many complications with the healing time of it. It should heal just in a few days, and then after that, just be applying lotion and you should be good. So that's, that's pretty much what we see. Uh, we're fortunate enough too that both our nurses have been with us for six and seven years, so they've done tens of thousands of treatments each. Uh, so they kind of know the sweet spots when they're treating and what kind of reaction it's getting and how that's going to um, attribute to the person's healing time. So um, experience is really important in tattoo removal. It's not as simple as just uh, zapping it away and turning the laser up. That's not how it works. There really is some finesse to it. So. All right, Mark, now it is the end of the video. Can you please tell us how they could win a free laser tattoo removal session? Sure, so if you guys like, subscribe, and comment on Caesar's video, Caesar's gonna pick a, a winner. He'll pick it sometime, and we'll offer free tattoo removal to whoever he picks, as long as your tattoo fits underneath our postcard-ish is fine, and uh, We'll post up the winner on his site, and then uh, maybe even the first treatment when they come in. Who knows? We'll see what it's like, but I think it'll be fun. And uh, thanks for interviewing me. I really appreciate it. Yes. And uh, your videos are great, very informative, and thank I think you, that people you. will really enjoy them. So uh, hopefully we'll see you here at San Diego Laser Removal next. All right. Thank you for taking this interview, Mark. I really appreciate it. And what I wanted to say is uh, if you guys have any questions for myself or for Mark, go ahead and put them down in the comment box below. Hopefully we answer all your questions, but if we didn't, we will get back to you guys. Have a good one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. See you on the next one.